Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good wherever you are. JP here with Brizzy, and in this sneak peek, I want to show you a few new features on the image element that's going to blow your mind. Two disclaimers. One, that this is a work in progress. Everything may not always work the way we want it to work. And then second disclaimer, it's a work in progress. It's still in the few, few future. So don't expect it tomorrow or the week after that. Give it a couple of months and then you'll be able to play with this live. Remember, if you want to test this when it comes out as a beta release, sign up for the beta program at Brizzy. What we'll be looking at is the new shape for images. And you've seen this probably elsewhere. I'm going to show you how it is done the Brizzy way and really funky how you can even create patterns with that because I can only show you a few little new sneak peeks here and there and now and again. I want to show you more. So watch the video all the way until the end and I'll show you a little bit more on an extra feature for the image element. Let's jump into it. I'm going to bring in an image element and I'll just drag it from here, drag and drop. Let's make it a little bit bigger, select it and I will grab this image over here. Say select and now Notice that we have a mask feature that appears here. If I select mask, currently it's set to none. And now look at that. You should have a good idea of where we are going with this one. Click on the circle and it's a circle, but not quite yet. And if you click on it, now you can drag it and you're like, ah, but I want a perfect circle. I have no fear, Bobby and Sally. Very easily done. Let's go back to the image settings, select mask, and then under size where it says fill, you select fit. Wonderful. Now, if I drag down, you will see it remains that circle. Here is another cool feature with it. Let's select it again. Let's go to the image. And of course, now you can move around the focus selector to make sure that what you want in focus will appear in focus. And I can zoom in if I want Jason's face here. There we go. Isn't that just awesome? Let's snap back to mask and I'll just decrease this a little bit so we have more real estate to play around with go to the mask and now you can also see that we have position for center center if i want it at the top of the container of this column or i can put it at the bottom and in those cases where we actually reduce it like so now i can go to the mask again and i can put it to the center left Ooh, center right there's so many options here let's keep it on fit and I'll go to position and I'll put it center center so we can play it nicely with it. Look at this feature though here, repeat. Aha, uh -huh. but before we get to that, let's look at other shapes that you can play around with. And remember, all of these are set to fit. So they will fit the constraints of the container, which is in most cases the column. Really nice features here. And then look at the bottom, custom. But we're not going to look at that today. Let's close this out and I'll put it back on circle for now. And then what I want you to see is this repeat feature. So currently you have this repeat. And when I put that, it's going to repeat it within the container. And this becomes truly funky when I go to size and I select custom. Ooh, what's going on here? Currently set to percentage, but you can also put it on pixels. Let's leave it on percentage. And as I drag it down, look at this cool effect that I'm creating. That is so awesome and super cool. You can go ahead if you want to and change the color so that it can maybe blend in a little bit. This is our overlay. So let's go like that. And then for the column, that's probably where we want to go and change the color background. Let's put it on this blue, white. And Jason's eyes are totally messed out here. So what we'll do is we'll just move it a little. Ooh, there we go. Cool little feature, right? And that's the shapes and all you can do with the shapes and the filters. But what about that little extra I want to show you? Let's bring in another image. And this one is going to make a lot of people smile from Monday to Sunday. Let's select this. And I want you to look at the default box that I'm showing you there. What do you see that is different? Let's load the image. I'm gonna load this image, stand, and then look over here, hover. Now we have this in backgrounds for columns. Now we have it for images as well, which means you can have 
two images, one in your default state and one for the hover state. And because you can link anything, it makes it a great way to show people that something can be clicked. Let's get rid of Stan because he cannot be in every photo. And then we bring in his colleagues that usually don't go out with him at night. And now look at that. Voila. Maybe you've seen a few more things in there that I haven't seen, but this is just the image element alone that's getting a steroid super upgrade that's probably illegal. Lots of other stuff still coming. Stick around in the next few weeks and months as I show you all the goodies that the team is working on. I hope I still have a job. Until next time, go well and stay safe. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and a good wherever you are. JP here with Brizzy, and in this sneak peek video, I want to show you something on what the developer team is working on. Let me get rid of this guy first. Ah!